Record. Wonderful. Right. Now we are <clears throat> resuming. God willing, finishing. We'll see. Maybe we'll have to finish tomorrow. The Dvar Malchut, a speech that the Rebbe Lubavitcher Rebbe gave in 1992. He's talking about Abraham and how Abraham was the first to join the heavens with the earth to bring godliness into day-to-day -day life. And he did this especially with the circumcision. And because of that, God promised him the land of Israel and promised him that the Jewish people would always love God and that God would always love the Jewish people. <clears throat> the Indian Achibur, this idea of joining the upper worlds and the lower worlds came in when Abraham did the circumcision of Abraham. Kamadubar Pamim Rabot, like has said many times, Shakoach, that the ability, Shayesh Leben Israel, of the Jewish people to do the commandments after the giving of the Torah. <clears throat> she say yachdor that it should permeate the yikva, and it should <clears throat> establish holiness. The devarim gashmi in physical things, the hand mekayimim at the mitzvahs in which you do the commandments. Makoro, everything comes from what Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did. Leave name on Torah before the Torah was given, as we say, maisa avot simon labanim. What the fathers do is a sign for the children. It's in the Breshit and uh, etc. <clears throat> what the fathers did, this is a sign for the children. I keep getting this sign pops up. Okay, here we are. The, the internet connection is not stable. So let's <clears throat> pray for stability. Here we are. Shekadushat a mitzvah that the holiness of the commandments, even before the Torah was given, Nishara Be'ever, the Dover Agashma should remain physically. Now, the Torah was before the world was given. The Torah was before, that's why we said that Abraham did the whole Torah, but he did it in a spiritual way. Well, why did he do it in a spiritual way? Because he was opening up the door for what God wanted that the Torah should be in the physical world. But Dover Gashmi, Gam Achre, even after he did the commandments. Not like all the other commandments that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did. That they were what's called spiritual. They were called spirits. Fragrance. Look, and therefore, Omar Abram, <clears throat> but Abraham, after the circumcision, so the, 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 the commandments had a, a permanent effect in the physical world. Therefore, we'll see next week when Abraham sends his faithful servant, Eliezer, to find a <clears throat> bride for Abraham's son, Yitzchak. So he says, I want you to swear by something holy. He says, okay, whatever you want, I'll put my hand on the Bible. Abraham says, no Bible, Bible hasn't been given yet. He says, well, what is there holy in the world? There's nothing holy. What am I going to swear? He says, yes, there is. There's the circumcision. Put your hand under my thigh. He swore by the covenant, by the circumcision. Today, in order, that it will be an oath that was taken on a item, a physical item that is holy. Because before the Torah was given, there was no other commandment that there was holiness <coughs> that remained after the commandment was done. There's a story I'll just interject. A very famous person in, in, in the history of Israel, he lived like in the same time as the Baal Shem Tov, but he lived in like Morocco. He was called the Or HaChayim HaKadosh, Reb Chaim Ben Atar. And the Baal Shem Tov said that this, there were in, in Morocco, there were these amazingly holy Sadiqim, Jewish, holy people. Today there still are. There's the Baba Sali and others. And, and he was called the Or HaChayim HaKadosh. Not that many people are called holy. He's called the holy Or HaChayim, right? The light of life. What was his name? Rev Chaim Ben Atar. They call him Rav, uh, Rav Chaim HaKadosh. And they say the reason he was called a Kadosh 
is because <clears throat> he was beloved by the king of Morocco. To this day, even in Morocco, they have a very, very good relationship with the Jews, very positive relationship with the Jews. The, the king respects the Jews. One of the few places that there was, uh, you know, very little anti-Semitism. Okay, so it says one of the reasons why is that one day the the um, the lion got out of the king's um, the king's uh, zoo or whatever it was, a lion. He had this big, fierce, amazing lion. He has a, I guess these big people, they like to have lions as pets, anyway, whatever it is. So anyway, he got loose. And everyone was afraid. All of the soldiers, they were all afraid, you know, to go out and shoot him. They didn't have, like, big, you know, was water over there in those days. So they, you know, to shoot him, they were afraid. They were afraid that if they shot him, that maybe he would run after the people who shot him and killed him. They didn't know how powerful, how thick his skin was. Anyway, so I guess they tried certain things, and he ate people up, whatever it was. Didn't know what to do. So the king called this Rabbi Chaim ben Atar and to ask advice, what should we do? You know, you're a holy Jew. And Rabbi Chaim ben Atar said, no problem. Went into the street. Everyone was watching and went into the street. And he showed the lion his circumcision, his Brit circumcision. And the lion immediately became calm. And he took the lion and let him back into his cage. Now, normal people hear this joke. They hear this, hear this story and they say, it's a joke. Wow, well, that stupid thing, you're showing a, a thing like that. But there's all sorts of do jokes, dirty jokes, jokes that are made out of that place of the body. <clears throat> because it's low and it's this, <clears throat> and it's very prone to do things that are opposite of what the Torah is. You to cover it up, you know, that's a place where Adam covered over it. So, but the fact is, that's the holiest place. That's the holiest. If used exactly the way that God wants, which who does that? Or Achayim did. And that's the place of the covenant between the Jewish people and God, the unending love of God and the Jewish people. And all these jokes and things like that that rouse in our mind, it shows us where we're really at, right? how far away we are from the truth. That's why it's called Or Achayim HaKadosh. That's the story that I heard anyway. <clears throat> so in other words, what does it mean bringing holiness into the physical world? We, say the same, we saw the same thing with Daniel. Daniel, in, in that case, he was thrown into a lion's den because he, his whole body was holy. In fact, Sadiqim are called Yesod, the Sadiqim. The Sadiqim, so to speak, they are the organ of procreation of God in the world. Sadiq Yesod Olam. That shows on this connection of the highest levels of spiritual, this in, with, in a way, the lowest levels of people, right? The sexual drive can drive can it can make people into the biggest egotists possible. You know? Okay, let, enough of that. So that's the whole idea of the circumcision. The heyotsha mitzvah mila because the circumcision is bedugnus and mitzvah. Just one more thing. That's why in in Judaism, getting married is called kedoshim. It's called getting is called holy. Kodesh at mekadeshedly to mekadesh a woman to, means to make her holy to you. Marriage is holy. It gives birth to children. But that's what's so bad about all these aberrations and, and things, you know, homosexuality and things like that, because it totally misuses. It's, it's the only, it's using the holiest, most human part of the hum, human being that it can give birth to children for pure pleasure, only for, for selfishness. Uh, for selfishness. Okay, that's, the, that's what it says. You have to circumcise yourself. Stop being so selfish. Here we go. And that's the circumcision is like the command. This, this opened up the way for the commandments after the giving of the Torah. Therefore, it is attached to all the other commandments that the fathers did, Abraham, Isaac, and, did, Isaac and Jacob did. These commandments are all connected to all the commandments we do now after the giving of the Torah. Shemaisa Avos, that what Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob did, that was a sign an opening up of the door, a giving of power and encouragement and empowering uh, to us that we can do the commandments. <clears throat> one of the reasons of this that God chose in this circumcision of Brismila, why not? Why that circum? Why, why not? Why didn't give them uh, the, the, the putting on tefillin or something? Why, why circumcision? Why is circumcision that's the, that's the commandment that gives power to all the other commandments after the giving of the Torah? 
because in this there is a big novelty in regarding to all the others that by means of doing this mitzvah is made in the physical body a sign of a Jew, a sign of God. It's a breath in your flesh forever. And even more, one of the reasons for this commandment is in order to weaken the physicality, the, how do you say, the, 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 uh, the is another word for it, not mundane. Anyway, the, 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 the physicality of this commandment. Shalokh in Nidrash is a hero's miyocheres, therefore it has to be very, very careful. <clears throat> right? Jews have, have always done this commandment of circumcision. Avopikin, nevertheless, the novelty in this is, Shalohs will build about not only this commandment shows on turning away from bad, you remove the foreskin, Ella Mitzvah, this transforms this whole limb, the physical limb of procreation, which is physical and, how do you say, crass, mundane, can get a person to the lowest of possible levels. It should be holy. Until it makes a, a, an eternal covenant in an eternal way. We can say that the gam olam bapirusho a covenant, which means also a revelation for the non-Jews. And there's, it's possible to use pleasure only to serve God. Not, it's possible that pleasure can be used not in a selfish way, but totally unselfish. Yesh Lomar, we can say, Shemekiv and Shekadusha Bechid Evan the Nitzchius Shel Mitzvahs Hashem Nimshachas we can say that because the holiness of the commandments of God are drawn into even the most physical and crass things in the world, that's not the right word. I'm trying to think of the right word. Okay. This reveals the power of God, the eternal power of Hashem. That God can be drawn down even into this place. Lochin there, therefore, this gives the power and all the commandments of the forefathers that should be. This gives the power that everything, the whole, all the self sacrifice that Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob had can be embodied in us. After the, all of the commandments, after the giving of the Torah, that by means of them, holiness is set in an inner way. A, how do you say it permeates the world? In all of the physical world. Therefore, Davkali, they came, this was Mila, that only by means of doing this commandment of circumcision, God changed the name of Abraham. Before that, his name was Avram, and his name by the circumcision became Avraham, because Avamon Goim says, You are going to be the father not just of the Jewish people, but of all mankind. How is Abraham the father of all mankind? Because he's bringing holiness into every human being. Suddenly, every human being in the world can say, hey, I'm being created by God. I'm being created by the same God that gave the Torah to the Jews. I am very important. My, every moment of my life is unique and important. Every non-Jew can say that because it's true. The fact is, is it's true. And people will realize that truth. Shekin, Mitzvah, Mila, because this, this commandment of circumcision gave the power, power to refine also, all of the non-Jews, not only the non-Jews, but also all of their possessions, the chumiotam, and all of the mundane things that they have. I should talk them until the lowest of the lowest levels. Shagam sham that even there can shine, reveal godliness. Koach apol benifo, the power of the creator in the creation. Ad until shleimus, until it's complete. Then God will be the ruler of the world, which he already is the ruler of the world, but nobody sees it. God's creating everybody, and everybody does whatever they want. That's the idea of the future redemption. People will realize and feel that they're being created, that they're not alone, that they're important, that they have responsibility. But because of that responsibility, you can't do what you want. You want to tune in to the truth. You have to do what the creator wants. 
Tovan, we can understand also the connection of the of the idea that Abraham joined the upper worlds with the lower worlds. He opened up the way in Mount Sinai. Ha'achanal is that the preparation for this is when God said lech lecha and the circumcision. <clears throat> that after lech lecha, God said, go, leave your place to the land where I show you, which is an elevation. And it was also a, coming down from his avram being high to low. That's what we learned in the Torah or, right? We just learned. God promised Abraham, but Natan at the Eretz Israel, I will give you the land of Israel forever to you and your children. I but brief been a Torah until God made the what's called the covenant. We learned earlier in this week the covenant between the pieces. Lazaracha to your offspring, I gave this land. Giving the land of Israel to Abraham is in order that Abraham and his children after him through Yitzchak and through Yaakov, Yavchu will change and they will, they, will, they will transform and change the physical world. The circumcision that, relevant, that was relevant to people. Eretz Yisrael, that's relevant to the physical land, the earth, the dirt. Dear Eloi that even the physical world will be a dwelling place for God. The Kibush Eretz Yisrael, when the Jewish people conquered the land of Israel, and the service in it, <coughs> this came to expression, to fruition, the complete service of joining the upper worlds and the lower worlds, which that's the whole thing that which really happened in Mount Sinai, Shemavori, Mamali, Eretz, that you can actually refine this earth, this physical world, physical, mundane, crass, uh, that word is, okay, Olam, it's not mundane, it's what is it called? Uh, uh, there's a better <laughs> I'll probably think about it remember in the middle of Shimon Esri, remember all these good to make the whole world a dwelling for God and therefore Shlema came. that's why when the Jewish people sinned God evicted them from the land of Israel evicted them to show them you know get it together fellas you know I want you to make the world holy and you're not even making yourselves holy and therefore, Shlemus came on mitzvahs, Shenitno Bamat and Torah. Therefore, the completion of the commandments is only in the land of Israel, because that's the job of the Jewish people is to make the world holy. Alpiz, according to this, now we can understand that giving the land of Israel to the offspring of Abraham, this gives the power to do the commandments in a complete way after the giving of the Torah, and that this could make a purification in the world. That's what I said before. That's why all the Jews are going to come to the land of Israel with Mashiach. We'll bring them to Israel. Why to Israel? Because in Israel is going to be the holy temple. And only through the holy temple are you able to do all the commandments. Going to the holy temple three times a year. You can't do that in Chicago. Shazui, this is a shaykh. You have to do it on the holiday also. You can't take a plane. You can't put the zui, a shaykh. This is the connection of lech lecha to the land that I show you with going of Abraham in the land of Israel. Abraham walked in the land of Israel, <clears throat> right? Lech Lecha, Venetina, there it's Israel, and God gave the land to him. Both of them, that Abraham went, Lech Lecha, he went to Israel, and God gave the land to him. Both of them are one continuation of one topic, namely giving the ability, the power, the inspiration, and the beginning, opening the door, to join the upper worlds with the lower worlds, to join the reveal the creator in the creation. That was the holy temple. God was revealed. Now people will go to the holy temple and they would feel that they're being created. They'll feel that God is creating them. They would feel the holiness of the commandments. Shemnifal of a Matan Torah that was given in Mount Sinai. Yeshlom, we can say that like this, just like the just like the commandment of circumcision. This expresses the completion of the Dira B'tachtonim, of making a dwelling of God in the physical body. Similarly, the land of Israel, this also is the dwelling of God in the world. So it was two covenants. The covenant that was made in the flesh and the other covenant was the covenant that was made in the world. God gave us the land of Israel. According to this, we can understand also the explanation of learning Parshat Lech Lecha, why we should learn this, why we should even read it as a 
preparation for in a few weeks, we're going to learn Yitro, the giving of the Torah. McCabe insists that the service of God has to be constantly in a way of going until that a person should always be moving incomparably to where he was previously to be a different person. Like it says, Lech Lecha, Atzmecha, Kolel included also giving the Torah. So now we can understand that constantly there's a necess necessity that a person also always has to be moving and going. Listen, if you just on simply, if you really think that, hey, I'm being created by God, the whole world is being created by God, so then life becomes this big surprise and this big mystery, and you're, you're, and you're ready for anything. You're, you're ready for anything. No matter what happens, it's God is doing it, and he's doing it for me to react properly. How am I supposed to react properly? You have the Torah, you have experience, you have older people to talk to, you have other, you have friends to discuss it. <coughs> But nevertheless, the basic thing is, is that the world, it's God's world, and God is creating us. So it's possible that every moment is fresh and new. Huh? Allah has come and become, how much more so? There's some people I know that they can see a movie, huh? a movie. There's some movies that are good movies, I don't know. And they can see the movie 10 times, 15 times. They love this movie. They see it every time. It's oh, it's wonderful. They pay money to go in to see the movie, right? Whatever, the Wizard of Oz. Who knows what the movie they see, right? Who oh, I can see this movie a, a thousand times, right? There's people that are like that. I'm not one of those people, but there's people that are like that. And understandably so. You know, there's good acting is done and the plot is good. You see how people react. and there's a, Right? You can see that the, people watch reruns of boxing matches. They run... To see, it's, it's interesting. Oh, it's, it's like new every instant. It's the same thing, but it's new all the time, right? If in such a mundane, stupid thing like that, a movie or whatever you can see, and it's brand new, how much more so the whole creation, the whole world? That's what the Jews are supposed to do to the world, that everything is always new, fresh. That's what it means the Torah is going to be new. Not that it's going to be different. It'll be the same Torah, but we'll see the novelty, the godliness in the Torah. How much more so when we're talking about the revelation, such a high revelation, to be new, to see nature as being new. What about when it really is new? In the future redemption, it'll be a whole new thing. We had no idea that God loves us so much, that the world is so good, the people are so good. And, and the whole idea of possessing the land of Israel, this is a preparation what Abraham did and going to the land of Israel, this is a preparation for the giving of the Torah. And in this depends the giving of the giving and receiving the Torah, joining the upper. So if so, it's understood that all the time that there is complete that's lacking the land of Israel total, like he says, now we only have seven lands. God promised Abraham 10 lands. Not only that, all the Jewish people are not on the land. <clears throat> Now, what's lacking? Kasher ein lanu at the Esarites says we don't have the ten lands, so it's also lacking the completion of the giving of the Torah. The giving of the Torah has to be. It's like if a person is only partially circumcised, right? The same thing with the, the giving of the Torah. If we only partially have the land of Israel, uh, that's not the completion. Dav the only by means of this that we complete what Abraham began. Lech lecha me to the land that will show you, possessing the land of Israel in its completion, all the 10 lands which the, the non-Jews will give to us. <clears throat> we won't have to, with great joy, as then will be the completion of the doing of the Torah and the commandments. Like it will be in the future redemption, the total future redemption. And therefore, all the time that we are found before the redemption, as I know, then it is relevant the commandment of lech lecha mi artzacha, the land that I show you. All the time. <clears throat> oh, oh, this is this. So therefore, this idea of lech lecha, we always have to be in this, <clears throat> the, 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 how do you say, the, this attitude that Abraham had of going, moving. Abraham opened up the door that we can always be moving and going. We never get stuck back in one place. We never are satisfied with the good that we did, and we're never discouraged by the, God forbid, by the bad we do, the mistakes we make. 
That's the idea of getting all 10 lands, a Kenyan by Eretz Yisrael, all the 10 lands. This is a preparation for the Torah and the commandments. Like it says, there's going to be a new Torah. The heavens will be new. The, the Nosef, in addition to what it says in Matan Torah, that every day the Torah has to be brand new, that this is going to be after the redemption. We'll see the godliness in the Torah. Look, and therefore there will be as a vote of the Lech Lecha Gomer. As we will complete, God willing, tomorrow on Friday. Uh, we'll start from Yud Gimel. We'll do this tomorrow. Okay, and we'll explain more the inner ideas. Now let's do the Yom Yom. Let's see how we'll do this here. One second. One, oh, here it is, here it is, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Uh, yom. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm doing Hebrew. Hayom Yom. <clears throat> when my father was four or five, this is saying. When my father was four or five years old, his father <clears throat> was the Rebbe Rashab, Rebbe Shalom Dovber. He went into his grandfather, who was the third Rebbe of Chabad, the Tzemach Tzedek, <clears throat> Shabbat Vayera. That's the next week's Torah portion. And he began to cry. Four or five years ago, he said, his, father's, his grandfather said, what are you He said, why did God show himself to Abraham? But he doesn't show himself to us. But Samach Tzedek said, Abraham, totally holy Jew, a tzaddik. He served God his whole life with tremendous self-sacrifice. Nevertheless, when he was 99 years old, God told him, you have to circumcise yourself. You have to start over brand new. When a tzaddik, at the age of 99 years old, decides he should be circumcised, then he deserves that God should appear to him. Have a good day with Mashiach. Now, God willing, we'll see you at 3 o'clock, and we'll learn the Haftorah of this week.